and Chief Meteorologist Joe Varis is here in a pretty nice and bright outside mm -hmm. our studios here in Horseheads. But depending on where you live, you could see a little bit of rain this evening. That's right, a little bit of rain pushing through the Corning area um, early this evening. But uh, most will be dry overnight tonight. But we're concerned with tomorrow afternoon, especially tomorrow evening, when some heavier rain will be possible. Flash flood watches have already been posted. Something to watch out for. All right. In the meantime, let's take a look at our Crystal City Sky Cam. And again, we've had some showers pass through. You can see it's wet there. But... Most of our viewers at this hour are dry, including us here in Horsehead with sunshine outside our studios. All right, our weather headlines looking like this. We are calling for flash flood watch. That goes into effect tomorrow afternoon and continues into Friday afternoon. Scattered thunderstorms will be possible again tomorrow, especially during the later afternoon hours. And some of those thunderstorms could have some heavier downpours associated with them for tomorrow night. And that could lead to some localized flooding. There's a look at that flash flood watch that again will go in effect tomorrow afternoon. In the meantime, all is pretty quiet across our viewing area this evening. We are watching that low pressure system lifting north and eastward out of the Ohio Valley and associated with that area low pressure. Some heavier showers and thunderstorms this evening. Again, that's off towards the south and west headed to our area as we go through tomorrow. But between now and tomorrow afternoon, Again, uh, we're looking at just scattered clouds, and as we look at our radar map, there's been some spotty showers over the southeastern part of Steuben County. We saw that on our Crystal City Sky Cam just a minute ago with some wet conditions there and some isolated showers dropping through the Finger Lakes area as well. But uh, otherwise, just scattered clouds out there. We'll keep it that way through the overnight period. Hanging on to 80 degrees in Elmira, 83 Rochester, 76 in Buffalo, and also looking at some uh, uh, 80s down towards the coast of New York City at 83 and 85 right now in Philadelphia. Locally, 80 Elmira, 78 Tawanda, 77 in Spencer and 81 in Penyon. So not a bad afternoon and early evening out there, although the humidity level is still a bit on the high side. Partly cloudy tonight. We head down to the low 60s. Tomorrow, some sunshine to start, but a better chance for thunderstorms in the afternoon. We hit 84 for the five degree guarantee. Future track as we go through tonight looking OK. Tomorrow again, it's a dry start to our Thursday. Five o'clock, though, notice some rain starting to push in. And then as we go through the overnight period into early Friday, notice 7 a.m. Friday, some oranges and yellow showing up on the map here, indicating some periods of heavy rain possible. That lifts up into the northeast as we go through Friday evening. Most spots with the potential of one to two inches of rainfall before all is said and done. But we can't rule out a localized higher amount, and that could lead to some uh, localized flooding issues. 84, our forecast high today. We topped out at 81 for the northern tier tonight. Slight chance for that evening shower thunderstorm, otherwise partly cloudy. 64 in Mansfield and in Canton. 64 as well in Tawanda. Southern tier, slight chance for the evening shower thunderstorm as well. 62 in Bath, 63 in Elmira and in Corning. And for the southern Finger Lakes area, we're looking at partly cloudy skies tonight. Slight chance for an evening thunderstorm with temperatures in the 60s. Seven day forecast is featuring slightly cooler conditions over the weekend, but we keep the chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms around.